Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask Father D. And so let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon us and give us the strength that we need. Watch over all of our all of our uh, parishioners and all of our viewers. Uh, continue to give them the strength and courage they need to persevere during this time. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so today we have a couple questions that are being asked. The first one is um, by an, someone who's anonymous. Uh, the first question is, I noticed that Cardinal Collins wears different hats for his daily mass. He also takes them off during the mass, then puts them back on. What are the different ma hats? When does he wear them? And why don't priests have those hats? So, um, thank you very much for that question. So to answer the first part of that question, the two different types of hats that uh, Cardinal Collins wears is the mitre and the uh, zucchetto. The mitre is the uh, pointy hat, the bigger pointy hat that matches the liturgical color of the chasuble, the vestment that he's wearing. Um, the smaller hat, which is a skull cap, is the zucchetto, which uh, comes from um, the Italian, uh, which literally means uh, skull, right? So it covers the skull um, or the back of the head. Um, and uh, he takes those hats off, especially the mitre he takes off during any of the prayers. So at the very beginning, if you ever notice, uh, the bishop or cardinal will walk in with the mitre and it, sometimes if it's a solemn mass, a high mass with the, with the crozier. So he'll walk in with his mitre on and then when he's going to kiss the, um, the uh, he kisses, when he's going to kiss the, uh, reverence the altar, he removes the mitre, kisses the altar, puts it back on, then he comes back around, sits down and he begins the mass. Then when it's the, uh, he says the collect, let us pray, he removes the mitre. And then as he removes the mitre, he then does the prayer. And then uh, he sits back down and he puts the mitre back on for the readings. Uh, the reason for this comes from uh, St. Paul's letter, first, uh, first letter to the Colossians. Um, I believe the Colossians uh, chapter four. Uh, where basically he says that uh, the headdress, uh, when, when praying, we should not wear any headdress. So the, the, the hat is removed, the, the, the mitre is removed at that point. Um, furthermore, as the Mass continues and we get into the Eucharistic prayer, not only is the mitre removed, but also the zucchetto is removed uh, completely. There is a history of the actual mitre and how it's formed. If you're looking for the origins of it, uh, there is a possibility that uh, the origin can even come uh, in, in even the uh, roots of uh, the uh, Judeo custom of the high priest wearing also a, a crown. Um, so uh, it could be possibly there, but there is a, a lot longer explanation which uh, uh, given the series and the time frame that I have for the series, uh, I'm not able to get into. Uh, what I might end up doing is linking uh, on the description some of the uh, areas in which you can take a look online that might help you answer that question for the origin of the mitre. But to answer the question for the uh, for the for the anonymous questioner. Um, those are the two hats that the Cardinal Collins wears. 
Um, and that's when he takes them off and puts them on. And uh, we as priests don't wear those. Um, they're, they're given to the uh, bishops and cardinals and, um, and also to uh, obviously the Pope. Uh, the second question is, will you be conducting the Sunday Mass online for us parishioners to join in live or as a record a recording in the near future? The uh, Archbishop's homilies is too long. Well, thank you very much. Uh, and since you did uh, say who your name is, I probably will not say who you are. Um, only because I said the last comment that the Archbishop's homily is too long. Um, but his homilies may be long, but they're very rich with uh, great uh, spiritual insight. And since we can't receive uh, communion, uh, we can at least receive the, uh, the graces from uh, the insights that our, our Cardinal uh, is is presenting to us during the mass in, in his homilies. Um, in terms of will I be conducting Sunday masses online? Uh, I believe episode. Uh, I think it's either episode number two or number three. Um, I answered. I had answered that a while back, uh, stating how um, the cardinal televises his his masses uh, because he does have the equipment at the cathedral uh, because the cathedral used to do daily mass anyways and they have all the all the equipment there and they have seminarians and, and priests that are living there that can help out um, with the production of the actual um, mass itself uh, for for us um, we don't have internet in the church itself and um, because we don't have internet in the church, <clears throat> the option of live streaming is not there. And uh, we're hoping that this itself will pass. That it's not a, a it's, it's only temporary. That this lockdown is only temporary. Um, if, if it prolongs even longer, then we would have to look into how we can invest in it. Um, invest uh, in, in making this happen um, to our viewers, uh, you know, whether it's recorded and then and then and then um, put on on the uh, internet. However, as I said, um, we're hoping that it doesn't extend extremely long, and if uh, it's only temporary, so uh, we continue to pray that uh, this crisis. Uh, comes, uh, you know, is, is resolved very quickly so that um, we can get back to celebrating Mass, coming to, to, to Mass and, um, and uh, you know, uh, worshiping uh, and receiving communion uh, the way we ought to. So thank you for those questions, um, and I hope I answered it. Um, uh, so thank you very much. And uh, once again, if you have any questions, other questions that you want to uh, ask, uh, please, um, in the description area, uh, you can click on the link, Ask Father D, and it will, it will take you directly to a page where you can write down your uh, question and uh, send it in to us directly. Thank you. God bless.